Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. I had so much fun playing in the previous campaign part that I wanted to go ahead and do another one because I'm a huge fan of 40k, and it's great to finally have a very good 40k game to dive on into. If you guys are enjoying this Let's Play, then make sure you go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. It really helps out the channel, especially on these videos that aren't necessarily my usual thing on YouTube. It's a big, big help. As well as that, if you are considering buying uh, 40k Battle Sector, but make sure you go ahead and check out my game stores down below in the description it's a great way of supporting the channel and they work completely with developers to bring you guys completely legitimate steam keys that you can just redeem on steam and you also help out the channel at the same time so it's a great way of supporting the channel there's many games on there as well so it's new, you know even if you're not planning on buying battle sector i always appreciate those of you who do check out and use my links before buying any games so yeah in the previous episode we helped out the apothecary go ahead and get back some of the gene seeds of our fallen brothers uh, we also you know kind of made our our landing point and repelled the Xenos threat from our, our positions and now we are moving on to where the apothecary came from and we're going to hopefully go ahead and retrieve his fallen comrade and get the gene seed back there we do not want it to fall in the hands of any enemies because it can definitely be used against us we also went ahead and upgraded our main uh i think this is our, our lieutenant yeah he's just a lieutenant he's not a, he's not a captain yet uh we went ahead and gave him this just giving him a better chance at hitting whenever he uses his chainsaw i don't think he really needs it but then it does go ahead and give us access to the graces of the angels which i think will be nice and then finally giving us extra sword bonuses as well will be absolutely amazing that's kind of what i want to work towards i mean these are also pretty good uh we also go ahead and have uh we've upgraded our apothecary as well with this little damage boost as well he can apply to some people um so we can obviously work towards getting that aggressor bonus as well the hail of fire which i think allows us to uh yeah go ahead and allow them to use uh, flame gauntlets instead of the bolt rifles we'll have to see exactly what that is all about so let's move on to the next mission it is regrettable that brother aturo presented himself from a position of weakness that is far different than how a blood angel is typically introduced to the sanguinary priesthood. I must hope the first impression is not lasting on these Primaris. In fairness, Brother Aturo's disregard of our new brothers does himself no justice either. He overlooks their potential and sees only that grown test subjects with no worldly experience. I understand the root of the priest's skepticism. A century ago, I also would not have claimed any brother who had not supped from the blood chalices. But a century ago, I would not have believed that I would see us rescued from the brink of extinction. By Primarch Gilliman, no less. Brother Aturo's concern is that I would throw us headlong into death as some sort of penance for this guilt that weighs me. I am honor-bound to avenge my company, brother. But I know that we must act pragmatically. Pentasio had the skill and experience of a dozen full-blooded assault marines with him when he was bested. We will take this opportunity to retrace Brother Aturo's footsteps and rearm ourselves prior to breaching the infestation site. There are few problems that cannot be solved with a plasma weapon, in my experience. Very true indeed. So if we go ahead and complete this mission, we get access to the Hell Blasters, which aren't quite as good as Eradicators, which have a primarist version of the Hell Blasters. Uh, but they'll still do pretty good. These like anti-tank weapons. Then we also get access to a land speeder, which can move obviously pretty fast and uh, outflank and hit enemies from a, a you know, position of strength. Perfect. Well, let's go ahead and proceed and see what the uh, the situation is on the ground when we do come in. I'm excited as well to go ahead and use some of the new abilities, the the ability my apothecary got should hopefully be pretty These deadly. These scattered remains have little left to recover. I doubt there is much here I can harvest. This is more than mere execution. The alien will suffer for this butchery. I wonder if we're going to run into like a, a swarm lord or something. Because uh, it sounds like it's like one of the more intelligent tyranids. We have to push our way up here. Okay, interesting indeed. Well, we have, uh, I mean, we're already at our limit, right? Uh, with our points. Um, so again, we'll want to go ahead and keep our backpacks at the, oh, sorry, our jump packs at the back. We just don't need them up. 
Um, whereas everyone else does, because obviously these guys can just jump on the enemy. The aggressors can be in the front line. We have three intercessors. Perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, let's dive in. I wish it would tell me exactly how, I mean, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter, but I wish it would tell me, like, how many points I can bring into a mission. Maybe it does. I just need to check them out. You can stick them in reserve. I wonder what sticking units in reserve does do. Like, I can bring them in later on in the battle. I guess the game will show me eventually. Um, so we'll also probably, yeah, we'll stick these guys out there, you guys, and we'll switch, like, you two around. Yeah. Just so that you can barely buff them, and then you can move forward. Perfect. Cool. Let's go ahead and begin the battle. There can only be victory. Okay, so we have to push up and, yeah, just clear out these guys. I mean, these guys shouldn't be anything of worry whatsoever. So we can move in, just kind of cut these guys down. Do I want to try and, like, because how far... You can get pretty far. How far can I jump packs get? Actually... Let's, uh, let's take a look at that. We are the lords of the assault so if we do that, we could get to like here. Yeah, and then kill these. So we want to probably avoid that. So let's go ahead and jump there. Get these jump packs in and we will smash in here. We also get some more vision. There's nothing seemingly down there. The go there. No right to live. You guys can jump pack like there. God, them are uh, Hormagons. I actually took a bit of a, a pow pounding there. I didn't use a single model. I mean, we just move in, right? We have an 85% chance to hit. I guess we must have rolled pretty low on our numbers to attack. I mean, this should definitely clear them out. And then some intercessor bolt fire would probably be more than enough to finish off this unit. I mean, so far, though, they held firm. Okay, well, Always the aggressors. Yeah, our chance to hit is not great. We Let's go ahead and... Oh, was that just... Yeah, so he's going ahead and buff the all these guys the up. Wow, I did not realize it was AoE. It's only melee damage as well, which is, yeah, a bit unfortunate. I ideally want to get him, like, there. So what we'll do, I guess we'll push these guys forward and then use our melee to attack. Uh, again, to try and clear these guys out. So we'll go ahead and use our Bolt Storm Gauntlets. How many attacks is that? So it's only three, so actually probably not going to be our best chance. So we'll just move in here, 70% chance to... Uh, I mean, that clears out a handful of them. And then we can use some Intercessors to do so. Or even just our Apothecary as well. Just move in. He'll push him there. I really want to use this guy to try and clear these guys out if I can. Course. So nice. That's them taken care of. We have some intercessors. We can just move up. So some incidental bolt fire. Don't know what our optimal range is. Like I assume it's just like one tile away. It's probably perfect for us to shoot. Death to the Xenoswarm. Yeah, there you go. Clear them out. Perfect. Do we need to push anyone else up. I mean, you guys can't Close move anymore. Support. Probably just bring Waste these guys up in Overwatch and then use our brother captain to push up. And then the intercessors can clear out anything. We have to be careful with him, though, because last time, as we saw, he took a lot of damage. Um, so we have to be quite careful. And yeah, I mean, look at that damage. We only get two attacks, but it's just two dead. You will fall before me. Yeah, it's just two dead right there. Oh, we're actually, yeah, oh, three dead that time. Okay, perfect. Oh, well, I guess we'll push these off to the side to make some room. We also have another jump pack unit. But I don't think... The sky, yeah, brothers. they can't quite get over here. So, yeah, you guys don't do that. You guys just move up. Get you guys to push up as well. Yes, yeah, so you guys can just sit behind as well. I can't imagine... We and we the Imperium. Our position is particularly good because we're obviously fighting through allied units. I mean, overall, not bad there. They also do have a little bit of armor, but... Perfect. I mean, we cleared out the initial, the initial push. Can anyone a move up a little bit more? Ready. Yeah, I mean, we also could just push up here. But I do want to overwatch, right? So, yeah, we'll overwatch there. I guess you guys will push up there. We Spend your AP. I think that's everyone. I mean, our Puffer Carry can also move up. It'd be great to obviously also heal, like, do this. Now that I know it's AoE, it'd be very good to kind of keep an eye on that. Push these guys up to cover that flank. And, I mean, I assume it's just mainly pushing up that, uh, that kind of position up here. Oh, coming, coming in on our left-hand side. And behind us. Are we going to be, like, surrounded in, or are they going to kind of wrap around? Captain Matano said we can find you here. We've been sent to help with your recovery. Okay. The aid is welcome. Where? I do not wish to needlessly add to the bodies here. Oh, he's over here? We need to get here, secure the bunker. Okay, we can do that. So, I guess first things first is we're just going to move these... I am ready to help. Yeah, I guess we'll just move our captain up here, see if there's anything above. I mean, I assume they'll be... Yeah, they'll be up there. Venom Thropes is what we need to really take care of. Just Overwatch. Why not? Jump Marines can just get up here. Always Definitely want these guys up here if I can help vigilant. it. More of yes. our... Salt Marines. 
Obviously, it's not a bad idea as well to kind of keep this area covered because they obviously are all coming from this side. So pushing them in that way is not a bad idea. Might bring over some intercessors as well. And really just kind of hammer down this side using Overwatch to my advantage. Your orders. We could also shoot as well if we wanted to. Not a great chance to hit. So maybe it's better just to go ahead and Overwatch this area. Because by overwatching it, um, by overwatching it, we go ahead and basically uh, let them get closer Four means that we have a better chance of hitting, right? And I guess the Apothecary will come with a big blob. Um, I think it's probably just the best idea. And there's something else we can really do. I mean, everyone else they is overwatch. To tread close. Yeah, these guys are a big nuisance because if you even want to hit them, you end up getting poisoned. But we'll just work our way up the ramp because if we can blockade ourselves inside that ramp, then we can just have like two units hold the top very effectively. It's obviously what we're going to try and do. Obviously, they're just dropping their bonuses. I'm still a little bit confused exactly. Like, does it buff them and only them or, or what? We got a nice little bit of uh, fire up there. Yeah, nice. Seems like we're going to take down that Gaunt unit fairly easy. Obviously, they're going to be buffing. You will need more than that. We obviously also use our apothecary as well to keep everybody else fine. But yeah, I, I assume they have got something. a bonus now. I hear something. So they keep on acting like whatever's down there is pretty scary. You know, like they keep on saying, oh, something's coming. So I wonder if it is going to be like a swarm lord or something crazy. Unfortunately, they did uh, go after the wrong unit there. I mean, we're going to constantly just wrap our way around if we can. So these, uh, these intercessors are going to move north where the aggressors are. Oh, I did, totally forgot about these guys. Did we must have got them a while ago. I guess they can be used to scout. Totally did not see them. It would be nice to have like a little mini map somewhere. I am the sword yeah, there's, like, it would be nice to have like a mini map showing me exactly where these are. Because I did not even realize that we, have ac we had access to these. And there is a way up this way. Is there a way up here? Yeah, we got this way, man. In. Okay, that's probably where we're going to take them. So hopefully we don't run into anything too crazy. We'll fire. Yeah, just take him out and then continue to move the north. Ball. You guys will wrap around this way to meet up. Ready Obviously, we could also car. use him to harass the enemy, but I don't think it's a need for it. Just overwatch like over overwatch here in case anything else comes in. That's fine with me. And then the main blob. As I said, we're going to work our way up the hill is exactly what we're, And obviously killing these guys is really important. Ready to strike. So, um, yeah, let's get these guys up. Right, do we have, we have jump, jump pack with these guys? Can I get behind them? I can. Yeah, perfect. We'll probably jump to like somewhere up here. Just so I can attack these guys in the back. Obviously, that poison sucks, but, you know, what are you going to do? Why can't we... Sanguinius. Why can't we attack? We have an action point, do we not? Does that stop us from melee attacking? Okay, well that's uh, painful. I don't know why we can't use our, our chainsaw there. I assume it wouldn't make much difference. Yeah, I mean, killing them is so important. Maybe this, uh, this does prevent us? I'm not too sure. Again, no, they can still do it. I mean, they're, they're just killing these guys. Yeah, you guys just finish off them. Obviously, we still need to be careful about left-hand side. Cool, kill them, perfect. Got another unit of assault marines. We have the guns first as well. Now, our apothecary will be very needed up here momentarily. That is for sure. Um, yeah, so I think we're probably best off going in there. I Maybe I must have used some action points or something. We can't use action points, though. And we'll use him again just to hopefully he can kill one or two of these. I just kill one of them, and then hopefully we can get some incidental bolt of fire. Darkest, we prevail through control. Just to finish that one off, and we have another unit of assault marines who could to jump back again. Yeah, it probably does look like I went to maybe a bridge too far there. Unfortunately. So we'll push up here and just shoot, and then, yeah, these guys will push back in, I think, is our play. So, like, fire, Send and then fall back. They will not overwhelm us. God, that was really disappointing. I was, I was hoping for much better stuff from them. 
Get both arrivals up here. We can also heal as well. I think it's a need. Yeah, though, it heals a single non-vehicle ally within one tile. Battle line squad ready. Should heal them a bit. I guess, yeah. I guess them all up. So that's nice, at least. We'll just shoot. I think we just overwatch again. And just hit them as they come in. And we have one bit of bolt to fight here. Please kill that last one. It's on 2 HP. Thank you. So at least reduces down their effectiveness when they hit me back. Close combat support. Is that everything? We shot. You know, these guys haven't shot yet. Uh, we'll probably whittle down these Hormagons. Is that everything? I think that's everything I have access to. I mean, you guys should probably face this way as well. Don't need all of you guys up here. Yeah, that's everything. Two in a turn. So they're obviously going to come at me in numbers now. Yeah, these guys will have to... But as soon as we can break up this position, we can then... Obviously, we have, like, what, four tiles here that we can then use to our advantage. They come out behind us, though. Yeah, I mean, look how much damage the rifles did there on Overwatch. I wonder why sometimes them... Uh, them aggressors don't do as much damage. So that's going to hurt. Probably going to need to heal that unit up. Did he die? Hit back, though. Yeah, he's pretty low on 8 HP. And he's probably going to die to these poison. Why don't I want to... Oh, they're going in as well as the, the Gordon tries to get the hell out of there. Coming up behind me again. That's why we need to kind of wrap around the land speeders as quickly as possible. Luckily, they just healed as well. And these Gaunts only really do chip damage. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Yeah, obviously, the damage over time racks up, but... Okay, cool. So, yeah, let's use our, our, our Lieutenant... Pull that up. Uh, should we? I'm just thinking whether or not I should pop this bonus really quickly with the apothecary. Like, if I can get... These guys ready. could jump. But I want to buff them. If anything, this unit should probably try and move. And then we bring him in there and we buff all three of these units and we jump on this unit. So let's do that. And then what we do is we drop a, a buff down there. So we use his AP to do that. You can also heal every turn. It's kind of crazy. I would assume that'd be like some sort of like negative. But yeah, get these guys up. Heal that unit up. So these guys currently have a 25% melee bonus. The question is, do we want to... Yeah, so I assume their cover is like really giving them a nice bonus. So we have 3 to 4 damage for 40. So that's close to doing it. Yeah, nice. Good job, boys. Good job. And then we want to probably Just jump onto this unit. Brothers. Again, we're jumping onto the enemy, but it'll be worth it if we can just finish them off. I'm going to try and weaken them before we assault, because that assault's going to be deadly. Yeah, 27 to 37 damage seems pretty good. These guys can't get on the way, out of the way. Can these guys get up here? These guys can also get up there. Perfect. And then these guys can jump back to, like, here. So let's do that. We're going to surround this, uh, this Zen uh, Venom Throat unit. We're going to demolish it. Seems good. Let's bring up the aggressors. Again, any chip damage we can do is also good. And these guys are going to just pull back as they uh, as they fire. Fire and retreat there. And then he can come up as well. So we'll stick him in there. So we're literally, if we don't one-shot this unit, I'll be very surprised. Especially with all our bonuses as well. But we do have access to. So you guys just try and do a little bit of damage there. You guys have already fired. That's a little bit of chip damage. I think we, uh, nothing too bad. Bring these guys up now. So I probably want to hit with my my lieutenant first. Because he's going to do some serious damage, I think. How much is this doing now? Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, with his bonus. You will fall before that gets me. stuck in. Yeah, look at that. He just straight up kills one. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to need all of this. I am still a little bit confused of like when they get the chance to attack back. Yeah, and I guess we'll just send these guys in. Crush them. Good job. It doesn't seem like there's anything in the game that gives you additional bonuses for like yes. progressive kills. It'd be very nice. I think, and I think something like War, uh, Warhammer 40k is so like great at doing this is like it'd be good to see bonuses um for 
certain units. Like, if a certain unit gets a bunch of kills, they should be rewarded for that. And uh, you should see way more stuff from that. So let's missile these guys. You know, they should be able to get better upgrades, more accuracy and stuff. I don't think this game has anything like that. At least not that I've noticed quite yet. Let's just push up here. Again, we're probably better off uh, hitting these uh, these gaunts again. It's like thinning out the horde a little bit. And we'll get these guys up there as well. I mean, I know we're in the poison. My poison should go this turn. We almost got every single one. Let's focus on this one then. That also kills a ton of them, yeah. It really just kind of makes that unit very much not something we have to worry about. I am ready to help. Scare our pot. Can our pop pop carry can't even get up here now, yeah. So uh, we'll just turn him around, right? Let's just turn everybody around. Just so at least they're facing down there. In case the worst happens. And we just have this unit of land speeders. Who I assume are going to be meeting into enemy resistance. Very soon. I guess we'll just use our AP to get up there as quickly as possible. Doesn't seem like there's many enemies. So we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we're, we're facing at least the kind of the... Who doesn't have AP? Who has AP left? So lots of enemies coming behind us now. Which is good for the reason we got them land speeders moving early. They're just poisoning that to obviously give them bonuses for the rest of their units. What a rogue shot there. A little bit of damage. And yeah, you can see that these smaller groups of gaunts really aren't that much of an issue. Once you whittle them down in size. Okay, that's slightly annoying, but we should be able to zoom past these venom ropes. Not, it shouldn't be too difficult to do so. Speed things up as well. I'm not sure if there is a feature where I can just tell the game to auto speed up. So I'd have to click, keep on clicking it every time. Doesn't look like it though. Always one of the problems with slivering games, you don't have like a ton of options, unfortunately. A lot of the time, you know, the option menu is a bit bare bones. So it would be nice to have like the ability to like change key binding so I could change this. Because fast forward is what some random ass button on my keyboard. It's kind of annoying to press that every time, but I guess I can. Just need to look at exactly what it is. It'd be nice if like space was skip or something, you know? Okay, so what do we have access to right now? So obviously we're going to continue to fight our way up. Um, yeah, you guys definitely need to continue to take down these guys. I cannot have them in my back. So we'll focus on everything we have here. Yeah, basic intercessors are actually doing really good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they're doing a great job. Uh, so let's push up our ass assault marines then, I guess. You guys going to take zone of control by doing that? Doesn't look like it, which is good. You guys still have that bonus as well? Yeah, you have that bonus for one more turn. All right, let's see. Five dead gaunts then. Yeah, ruins them. Perfect. Uh, I guess you guys go into there then. Again, these are all Tormagons as well. So these are all the shooty variants. And do we want to push up? Because again, we can only... I guess he can just move in and finish them off. Then you guys go there. And then I guess we'll be sitting on the poison, but that's fine. Yeah, we we'll kind of run through the poison there. I did not mean to do that. My bad. Shooting pistols is not the way of the Blood Angels. Hopefully, he can overrun this position. I think if he kills him, he can move into the uh, into the tile, which would be huge if he did. Then I guess he can now move into there now, and then also get a nice little strike off there. So yeah, he can kill two of these you units. Perfect. We got some uh, guns there. Only a 28% chance to hit. I guess we'll missile then. So at least that's like a couple dead gaunts. Oh, I actually cleared out the what? I cleared out the entire unit? Wow, he must have rolled decently on the damage. I can't believe they only have like one unit left there. You guys have already shot, right? Yeah, you guys have already shot. Can you even fire there? Is that the effective range as well? Yeah, I think that little square right there shows me how, like, the ranger should be trying to kill them at. Which is interesting. Okay, let's push up. Push up. Push up. And push up. We can obviously also heal with him if we need to as well. Don't know if there's anyone who desperately needs it, but there's no reason not to, right? It's just cost an AP and heals, so we'll do that on them. And then over on our land speeders. You know, there is a unit of gaunts there. And then that unit there, yeah. So I guess we're going to move here. And if we're in range, With speed. we'll start working these guys down. 
Oh my god, they uh, they do some serious damage there, which is nice. Because they've just got like a bolter mounted on there. I guess it is a heavy bolter. Okay, now one of those is nice. Yeah, these bolters do some serious damage. My god, impressed with that. Obviously, we're going to take a little bit of gaunt, uh, some there, but nothing too crazy. And then what doesn't, what still has movement left? I keep on clicking that button where I don't overwatch. It's my bad. And again, yeah, units coming up behind us on our land speeders. We should be able to ignore the enemy them. Thinks it can stay beyond our reach. Now one, that one down the gun. Taking a little shot at my intercessor there. These are going to be a little bit more dangerous. Grazing just off the, the side. Yep, my uh, my lieutenant's like, no. I wonder if my lieutenant will get upgraded. How did I not, how did I not hit? I guess there must be a very good chance for him. I also wish that was a thing as well. It's like, show me like the breakdown of these units. Like, how did he get back from three units, man? It's crazy. Like, show me the breakdown of like the chances to hit and stuff. Okay, so we can get there this turn if we want to. I do obviously do want to move up with these guys. Which I guess I will do so. A few more units there. Firing on the enemy. Particularly when I get behind there. Yeah, me over land speeders, I'll take that. Take a shot there. I think that's optimal range as well, so let's kill them perfect. And then you guys. Um, I mean I guess it doesn't really matter if there's something else for you guys to kill. To the sky, and he can probably still yeah, he can still Mark get the bunkers secure. We will take what we need. The logistician will catalogue the rest. Are we just done? Hold the bunker from Tyranid reinforcements. We fight I can do that. So I guess we'll just hold here. So I probably should bring back some men here. Yeah, we'll leave the apothecary here. And we will set up our defensive formation. Then particularly want to give up my overwatch. So you guys just hold there. You guys hold like here. You're fine. You hold there. Bring these intercessors over here. Oh, sorry, these uh, we are the blood blades of warriors over there. I guess you can come back. And then, yeah, you guys can just hold this position. Also, Overwatch for entrance. This close. Okay, cool. So we made our point up here. I Perfect. Sword of Sanguinius. He's also got HQ commander upgrades. Perfect. Hey, right, nice. I think that's uh, the setup for the assault. So Overwatch with whatever we have. I also do wish as well. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I, I do, I do wish as well that these units would have just more upgrades on them. You know, like if a unit gets five kills, have them like be able to move up to something. You know, wherever it's just a little bit of extra, like even it's a stat bonus. I think that would be really nice and add a lot of flavor to these units. Also, don't get me wrong, I feel like I am also like just saying the stuff I would wish was in this game, but I also do think this is very, very good. I'm having a ton of fun playing it. As you guys will tell, like these videos probably won't do that well on the channel, but if I'm enjoying something, I, I will still post it. Okay, so obviously killing them is pretty important. These land speeders can pretty much do that. Zone a bit of zone control there by the Gaunts, that's not too good. That's some serious damage, but this is also a vehicle as well, I assume. Let's maybe go ahead and give them tactical presence. A little bit closer. Sanguinius guides every so this, strike. this should be a lot more effective. Yeah, 80% chance to hit now. You saw how effective these are as well. Basically killing one of them just on its own, which is super nice. Obviously, being in that goo is not perfectly good, but... You can really see the difference in them hits as well. I even crit there and that wasn't enough. My fury will be fast. He doesn't even need to do that, right? Yeah, he can just move in. And he'll be able to kill them for sure. A I don't really have a lot of uh, guns on this side. I'm not going to lie. You move him there. You just chop them to pieces. And you can obviously also do another one. Finish off them Zenimthropes. Zen oh, yeah, the Zenimthropes. Oh, he doesn't have another one? Oh, yeah, because I had tactical, didn't I? Of course, we're going to bring around. I mean, I feel like I have a bit too much covering this, en this exit here. Ready to strike. 
So let's maybe take a unit of intercessors, bring them over this side. Maybe just have all my melee elsewhere. Bother Gary can sit there. I mean, so far, we're looking pretty good. And these intercessors can also overwatch down here as well. You guys will use your AP. We'll also, is anyone we need to heal? Doesn't look like it. So might as well also just overwatch down here as well. You guys have not shot yet. Not really a very good chance to shoot either. It's probably better you just overwatch this section. A lot of these guys could jump in. I guess what we'll do is just try and finish up the venom ropes. Obviously, there's more coming in. But we will take the fight to the enemy. Easy stuff. You guys will go here, and I guess we'll set up an overwatch over here. Obviously, to shoot our bolt pistols. So, yeah, you guys overwatch that. I mean, you guys overwatch that. So we have a nice little section here defending the bunker. More reinforcements coming over. They can always shift back as well if we need to. The enemy thinks it can stay beyond our reach. I'm surprised we haven't seen any different types of uh, Tyranids yet either. That hurt. Oh. As you can see, you can always bring them back next time. There's actually quite a few almost dead there. Great overwatch there by the Apothecary. That's why his profession is just to heal people. No, they're going to get some kills. Four pistols doing a little bit of damage. We're going to go clear off what remains here. Oh, nice overwatch there by a decent portion of my army. But yeah, we're going to get in and kill some of these Marines. As long as the squad survives, though, that's all that matters. Oh, I'm surprised they managed to get so close in. Another unit coming over there. Some more Gaunts. Yeah, nothing... Uh, Nothing too crazy. So ideally, I want to get these guys out. So let's use this bolt of fire. Clear up as many of these guys as possible. We can also fall back as well. But like, why would we want to? Our chance to hit doesn't seem too bad. So I guess we would want to fall back and push our way back in. So we'll use him. You know, just go around. Yeah, just go there. I think by being here, though, it does mean they get to hit me back. So we'll see if that is the case. I think if you're, like, facing the enemy, when they attack, they get to hit you back. Yeah, which does seem like is the case. Interesting. Oh, these guys, so you're so turning and facing the enemy is actually really important. So these guys will get that kill. And I'll get them the hell out of there. Maybe even just move them over for the uh, the aggressors. Let's get them out of there. If, if we can as well, we'll get them back to the apothecary as well. Ready for recon. Oh, this thing can't shoot? Oh, no, I used both of them already. Yeah, you guys just move in there. Obviously, I want to just push in. Come on. We are the blood blades so they can clear that out. I'm in over on this side. Nothing to re-declare. They can hit that. You guys can hit that. Nothing really too exciting. Again, just overwatch. To your heart's content. I am ready to help. Just pop a little bonus there for the infantry. I mean, your these intercessors coming over as well. Okay, we're gonna switch over, and obviously we want to, you know, turn and face the enemy. Just in case, obviously these guys come in, and we also have him as well. He still has another action point. I'm gonna go in. Screw it. Get as many of these gaunts as I can. Roger that. These guys also have an action point as well. Hell yeah, let's take the fight to the enemy. I mean, there's nothing like, obviously, we're in the poison now, but. It doesn't seem like unless you're, like, directly in the poison. It doesn't seem like too much. Oh, nice. We have another point here as well. We could surge if we wanted to as well. Cool, we're surging. Unfortunately, I mean, we could get another. We could get another. Give the option to use an upgrade version of an ability. So, it probably just makes his weapons crazy good. Need a scout? Yeah, let's just end the turn. Overwatch. They fear to tread close. Yeah, they're poisoned, so not too bad. Brother Captain's poisoned, and I guess these guys will be poisoned as well. Some more Venom Thropes. Nothing scary, really. We've killed many of these, and this is the last turn we need to hold, so... Unless they have, uh, you know, uh, a big force to throw at us, it's ain't going to be a problem. And 
we react to, yeah, we react to the attack as well. So yeah, I assume that's because we're facing them. So we get that. Obviously, I'd much prefer to, to counter-attack with the swords, but... Well, I actually got pushed back there. Again, yeah, we need to make sure these squads don't die. They can get wounded, but as long as they don't get wiped, I think that gets some commendations and allows them to stick around. Because again, may maybe there is. They do get commendations, so maybe there is a thing. Um, so we should empower, right? Oh, that's an ability. Ah. Oh, this also gives an action point? Wow, that's good. That is really good, actually. -grab ready. Okay, let's just push out a little bit. So, yeah, we can do this. So, Surge just gives another action point. So, that's good, though, that we can actually give another unit an action point. I mean, obviously, it's better if he just cuts these guys apart. You will fall before me. I'm losing a little a bit of infantry, though, way. so we'll do that. Let these guys go in. Yeah, and I imagine some other abilities he'll get will just be absolutely gnarly with the Surge. The sky, Jump brothers. these guys back. Yeah, I just yes. want to get these guys as far away over there as possible. Need a scout. Um, I guess we'll search. I mean, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have held it, yeah, for sure. Because he's also a little bit low. I don't want to get him, like, exhausted. But I guess, I mean, I can still overwatch with him. I could also do this as well on something. Give him a better chance to hit there, I guess. Actually, oh my god, you don't realize I did... I thought it was only like three attacks, but I guess it does damage like next... Yeah, it's a splash damage as well. We are the lords Perfect, the well you guys just trip. overwatch out here. They will regret coming this yeah, I guess he'll, he'll come back a little bit. That's his little defense going on. We obviously also have these intercessors as well. Bring these guys out. Yeah, you guys are moving back. We can heal that. I don't think we even need to do this as well. I'm pretty sure. Line squad ready. I'm pretty sure as soon as we just end the turn, it's uh, it's GG. Yeah. Uh, so this is end the turn. Overwatch. Everybody Overwatch. I'm pretty sure the... Oh, we still need to kill everything? I guess they stop spawning after three turns then, maybe? And maybe that's how it works. It's like after... You've held the bunker for three turns. They then stop spawning. Which obviously makes a lot of sense. So speed things up again. I wish it would just automatically speed things up for me. Let's get them come. The overwatch there from the aggressors would be nice. When I say that, I mean, obviously the bolt storms are much, better, much more equipped to dealing with... Like hordes, but still. Maybe we'll be able to get the flame aggressors at some point soon. That'd be juicy if we can. Obviously, as a salamander player myself, using them is just uh, insanely brutal. Because that's when, uh, yeah, once we start seeing them, the Hellblast is very much an anti tank unit. So as soon as we get to see them, then it kind of, you know, tells you that there will be enemies out there. I mean, it's just a unit down here. Okay, I guess we have to push down here then. Ready to strike. There's a Tyranid unit somewhere down here. I do also think as well, I shouldn't have to chase down the Tyranids. Like, just make it so that, you know, like, as soon as we, we hold this for three turns, like, that's the end of the mission. They will fear to I don't trade. think it's exactly Close. something that, which I should have to Say try and do. I wonder if I can just get up here and shoot down, maybe? If they can see down there? Yeah, there it is, but I can't shoot. That's fine. The intercessors will get over here. Hopefully finish them off. Like, yeah, this is like kind of clearing up the Tyranids. Like, it's okay on some missions, but I don't feel like I should have to do that every single time. Ready to strike. You guys should know watching as well. I await their mistake. It's just literally this last unit left remaining. The yeah, Overwatch should do it. No, wow, that Overwatch sucks. I can't even take care of some gods. Like, that's exactly what you guys are supposed to be there for. I guess the missiles also do some serious damage to them. Anyway, let's uh, see the intercessors there. The area is secured. As you anticipated. 
Oh nice, we did the bonus objective as well. I did not even realize there was a bonus objective. It is grim work you undertake, priest. It is not a task that I relish. The scale of our chore makes for comfortless service. In some ways, I'm glad I've been relegated to this moon, where the bodies of our brothers are only stacked by the dozen. Yeah, I didn't, know, didn't realize there was a bonus objective, but I'll take it, right? Perfect. I mean, that's, that's good. Taking my bonus objective gives me some more upgrades we can stick off. New units are available now as well. That's good. So let's go to uh, the army management and set this up. So we, we still only get to have this many points, which is fine. We have a couple of land speeders in here. And I assume a lot in reserve as well. Let's just take everything in reserve really quickly. Obviously going to take these at least... I mean, the intercessors are just solid. So we're going to take we're gonna take three of them. A lot of them have decent commands as well. Yeah, like I feel like it's... I, I feel like you will be able to do something. Uh, maybe when they get enough... Mission upgrades, they'll be able to do something. Who knows? I just feel like you'll be able to. But maybe not. Who knows? I'm sure I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments. Let's take that. Um We'll definitely take that unit. Take these two aggressors. We'll take a land speeder. I mean I guess we'll also take Fire some support. Some of the plasma incinerators. Some of the hell hell blasters in our next mission. The annoying thing will be, though, if we can't have... Uh, if, it, if the next mission is 700 points. I'm not sure if it tells you. I'll have to find out. We also get a bunch more upgrades, which is good. So we could actually just straight up work towards... Victory for the Blood Blades. Victory for Skyfall. The Sword of Sanguinius. Uh, which will do some very scary damage. Yeah, just boost his damage by 50%. So he can just basically one-shot a lot of enemies. We also get a point here as well. We can drop down. Hold fire. Uh, sorry, hail fire. Yeah, so they basically stand still and just do damage. A bit more armor piercing for them. Or just more HP per model. Primaris infantry. So basically all our units get a bit more HP. That's actually really good as well. Oh, there's a flame store going on. Yeah, I want to work towards them. Priesthood serves the will of the chapter. First line to the aggressors get more HP. Gravis units get more. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's work towards this. So I guess you do work towards getting upgrades. That's very interesting indeed. So I guess this is where you get the upgrades. Maybe I'll be able to upgrade units with Thunder Hammers when I get there. Oh, and again, Intercessors here. So yeah, this is how we get new upgrades is through this tree. Very interesting. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to work towards the Flamestorm Aggressors. Because they're just like close quarter burn everything. And they have good armor piercing as well. They don't even look that good, though. Heavy plasma inceptors seem kind of good as well. Yeah, we'll have to see. Work towards some more stuff there. But yeah, the actual hail of fire will be good, especially when we put it on our units. So does it tell me how many units? The priest continues to natter in my ear about the Yeah, it says 700 points there. Okay, guys, that is where we're going to wrap up the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed that mission. If you did, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.